For more than a year, ominous rumors had been privately circulating among high-level Western leaders that the Soviet Union had been at work on what was darkly hinted to be the ultimate weapon, a doomsday device. Intelligence sources traced the site of the top-secret Russian project to the perpetually fog-shrouded wasteland below the Arctic peaks of the Zokov Islands. What they were building, or why it should be located in such a remote and desolate place, no one could say. General Ripper, sir. Group Captain Mandrake speaking. This is General Ripper speaking. Yes, sir. You recognize my voice, Mandrake? I do, sir. Why do you ask? Why do you think I ask? Well, I don't know, sir. We spoke just a few moments ago on the phone, didn't we? You don't think I'd ask if you recognized my voice unless it was pretty damned important, do you, Mandrake? No, I don't, sir. No. All right. Let's see if we can stay on the ball. Has the wing confirmed holding at their failsafe points? Yes, sir. The confirmations have all just come in. Very well. Now, listen to me carefully. The base is being put on condition red. I want this flash to all sections immediately. Condition red, sir, yes. Jolly good idea. I keep the men on their toes. Group captain, I'm afraid this is not an exercise. Not an exercise, sir. I shouldn't tell you this, man, Drake, but you're a good officer and you have a right to know. Looks like we're in a shooting war. Oh, hell. Are the Russians involved, sir? Andrik, that's all I've been told. I just came in on the red phone. My orders are for this base to be sealed tight, and that's what I mean to do. Seal it tight. Now, I want you to transmit plan R, R for Robert, to the wing. Plan R for Robert. Is it that bad, sir? It looks like it's pretty hairy. Yes, sir. Plan R for Robert, sir. Now, last, and possibly most important, I want all privately owned radios to be immediately impounded. Yes, sir. They might be used to issue instructions to saboteurs. As I previously arranged, air police will have lists of all owners, and I want every single one of them collected without exception. Yes, sir. And after you've done that, report back to me. Yes,
In order to guard against surprise nuclear attack, America's Strategic Air Command maintains a large force of B-52 bombers airborne 24 hours a day. Each B-52 can deliver a nuclear bomb load of 50 megatons, equal to 16 times the total explosive force of all the bombs and shells used by all the armies in World War II. Based in America, the Airborne Alert Force is deployed from the Persian Gulf to the Arctic Ocean, but they have one geographical factor in common. They are all two hours from their targets inside Russia. Major Kong, I know you think this is crazy, but I just got a message from base over the CRM-114. He called his wing attack for an hour. Now for Romeo. Goldie, did you say wing attack plan R? Yes, sir, I have. Goldie, how many times have I told you guys that I don't want no horse around airplane. I'm not horsing around, sir. That's how it goes. Well, I've been to one World Fair, a picnic, and a rodeo, and that's the stupidest thing I ever heard come over a set of earphones. You sure you got today's code? Yes, sir, it is. Oh, there's just got to be something wrong. Wait a second, I'm coming back. Better get a confirmation from base. Yes, sir. Major Kong, is it possible this is some kind of loyalty test, you know? Give the go code men recall to see who would actually go. Ain't nobody ever got the go code yet. An old ripper wouldn't be given his plan R unless them Ruskies had already clobbered Washington and a lot of other towns with a sneak attack. Yes, sir. <laughs> 